Hey, and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be continuing from where we left off in the last one. This video, much like the last one, the method comes from the YouTuber Matt. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. So with that, let's get started. So first, picking up from where we left off, since we already created the front part of the widget. So now we're going to do the functionalities. So we're going to create a couple functions. So the first function is going to be to disable the buttons for the selected option. So we're just going to call it disable FPS. So I'm going to make it in the same order as they are here. So it's going to be following this order over here. Click on the node and we're going to add, add a couple inputs. So we're going to add two for the, oh no, for the FPS, we need to add as many as there are. That should be five. So the first one is 30, 60, 90, 120. And the last one is unlimited. I'm just gonna call it unlimited. What you're gonna do is we're gonna drag in one of the buttons. Gonna start with the 30, drag it in. I'm gonna put it at the top, and then from the 30, drag off, and then look for set is enabled. The widget over here, and then what we're gonna do is from the 30 on the node, we're gonna drag off, and then look for not the not boolean, and then we're gonna connect it to the in is enabled. And then we're going to connect the execution pin and then we're going to do this for every single one of them so there's going to be a node similar to this for every single one of them so you can just drag over the, all three parts and then control d like i said there's going to be one for each one so you can just place them wherever we'll arrange it in a little bit let's just connect all the execution pins first so we know the order in which they're going to be and then what you can what you can do is we're going to drag the 60 and then we're going to drag it over the 30 to replace it and then we're going to do the same with the 90 just drag it over the next one drag it over the 120 replace and then the unlimited replace as well and then just connect all of the red pins to the each one of the not 120 and then the unlimited and then we're just gonna organize all this quickly Okay, so that is everything. Now it's been organized 30, 60, 90, 120, and unlimited. And then this is what it looks like. Each one of the options has an has connected to the not and then it's connected to the in is able. And then we're gonna compile, save, and then there will be that for the FPS. And then we're gonna do the same for all the other ones as well. So we're just gonna select the function and then control D and then rename it the appropriate one next in line is the anti-aliasing just gonna call it aa and then we're gonna change the options over here so we need to remove the unlimited one because we only have four left and then we have low mid high and epic so now with that we're just gonna replace all the buttons over here expand the aa and then take the epic oh sorry before we do that we need to remove this last selection over here delete that one and then delete the extra so now we can replace them the epic at the end high second last low first and then mid in the middle so now there's everything and then from here we're just gonna duplicate the function again rename it to the appropriate one and then just replace all the buttons so i'll see you when i'm done with that everything is pretty much gonna be just a a copy and paste of what it looks like here i'll show the results after i'm done making the changes so now with the changes done this is the texture so as is low mid high and epic we just swapped out all of the nodes that control the buttons that are over here in the variables this would be the same for the shadow the shading the reflection and then we have the view mode which we need to change so with the view mode we don't need all four of these we just need two so we can take out the epic and the high so the view mode is the full screen and windowed so we're going to change that we change the low to full and then the mid we're going to change to windowed take out all the extra nodes that we no longer need and then we're going to swap out the low and the mid over here by the view so we take the full screen 
puts it by the low and then the windowed by the mid and then that and then this is what the view mode looks like so we're going to compile and save and then we also got to do the vsync so the vsync we're going to take from the view mode and then control d and then just rename it to vsync and then we're going to do the same just rename the options from full to on and then windowed to off i'm going to head over to the vsync and then just swap them out vsync off windowed vsync on full screen and that will pretty much be it no compile and then save i'm doing it like this because otherwise the video will be rather long and redundant because a lot of the work that happens here is pretty much going to be repetitive one is going to look the same as the other so instead of wasting time in that manner i'm going to do the ones that are going to be similar and then to show the results afterwards so with the disabled then we're now going to head over to the event graph and then in the event graph first what we're going to do is we're going to set up the back button so select the back button unclick and then here we're going to drag off from the back button remove from parent after remove from parent drag off and then look for create widget the widget we're creating is the main menu and then from the return value drag off add to viewport so that's it for the back button just add a comment back to main menu and then below the back button we are going to add the buttons for the view mode we're going to head over to view expand it click on full screen on click windowed on click so from the full screen we're going to drag off and then look for get game user settings trigger from the return value and look for set full screen mode the blue function not the get the set and then it says in full screen mode it says full screen that's correct and then we're going to drag off from the set full screen mode and then apply settings and then we're going to deselect the check for command line overrides and then after that we're going to select the view mode disable view mode we're going to drag this in then we're going to connect the execution bin and then we're going to select the full so that when the full screen mode is selected after it's been selected and has been set we're then going to disable it to show that this is the current option that has been selected so that's done and then you can just drag over the nodes and then duplicate them because it's going to be the same for the windowed connect the execution pin and then in the sets full screen mode click on the drop down and then when it says windowed select that and then just change it from full to windowed and then that will be all oh sorry we don't have a target for the apply setting so the target comes from the get game user settings so from the return value just drag off and then connect that to the target and then compile and save and then it, it should work the error is not gone and then just drag over the full screen and windowed add a comment and then i'm going to call it select view mode and then that will be that for the view mode so we're just going to compile and save again and then after the view mode we're going to do the vsync because these are the only two that are going to be somewhat different from the rest so by the vsync on and off we can select either one of them on click on click and then we're pretty much going to do the same thing as we did here drag off from the node get game user settings and then we're going to drag off from the return value and look for set vsync enabled and then since we i'm working with the off we're going to leave it as false and then we're going to drag off from the set vsync enabled we're going to apply settings make sure to uncheck the check for command line override and then from the vsync disabled function we're going to drag that in connect it and then select the relevant box so this one is off so off and then make sure that from the get game user settings from the return value connect that to the apply settings target so we don't get the same error as we did previously and then select everything 
duplicate it connect the execution pin and then just swap the on and off and then by the set vsync enabled make sure you check the enabled for the on option and then drag over everything add a comment select vsync so now we're done with the view mode and the vsync gonna compile and save so now we're gonna move on to the much larger ones we're gonna start off with the fps so this one is pretty much the same as we did with these ones over here gonna start off with the 30 on click we're not gonna set the other ones just yet so from the on click 30 just move it down a bit we're gonna drag off get game user settings drag off from the return value and then look for set frame rate limit and then we are on the 30 so we're gonna limit it to 30 and then drag off and then apply settings connect from the return value from the get game user settings to the target deselect check for command line override and then from the disable fps function drag it in connect execution and then select the 30 and then that is it for the fps and then now we're gonna do the next one the reason why i said we're not gonna do it quite is because you can kind of see the node for the disable fps is quite long and if you kind of just select everything it will be kind of off and then you'd have to drag each one individually down again see if you edit the line of code here it would eventually bump into this one over here so we're gonna move it down a bit and then copy the nodes duplicate it and then connect the execution pin change the new limit by the set frame limit to 60 uncheck the 30 check the 60 okay so now i'm done with the fps so we have 60 60 30 90 120 and then the unlimited so for the unlimited you need to set the set frame rate to zero this way it will then adjust the frame rate depending on what your hardware can handle at whatever scene is being loaded at the moment we're going to compile and save and then that's going to be it for the fps so now we're going to move on to the anti-aliasing pretty much everything is going to be exactly the same you're going to um, get game user settings select whatever it is that is being done so fps and then you're going to do the same for anti-aliasing and everything of such so we're going to go to the aa i'm going to go for low on click just move it out the way slightly and now what you can do is we can just take the code from that we used a while ago paste it connect the execution pin and then just swap out the necessary nodes so here we're going to take out the set frame rate Take that out and instead look for the anti-aliasing quality set anti-aliasing quality and then just connect that and then here we're going to leave it at zero for low and then we're going to take out the disable fps function and drag in the disable aa function and then we're going to select low and then we're going to select all the nodes and then we're going to duplicate them select the mid for aa and click so i'm done with the anti-aliasing quality so for low is zero mid is one high is two and then epic is three if you hover over the node it says set the anti-aliasing quality zero to four higher is better so four is the highest you can go which would be ultra but we're only going to epic and now we're going to do the reflections so select the low button on click and much like what you did with the anti-aliasing since we have been copying the nodes we're just going to paste and then swap out the anti-aliasing for reflection delete drag off from the get game user settings and then set reflection quality and then connect the execution pin and then take out the disable aa and then drag in the disable reflect connect and then select the low and then for low it's gonna be zero so i'm gonna finish off the rest and then come back so i'm done with the reflections much like with the anti-aliasing it's low zero mid one high two and then epic three and then just make sure that oh i actually forgot to swap these out okay so now i've corrected my mistake that i made with everything if your um noodles are skew and you want them to be straight you can just select everything and then press q and it will align everything straight 
and then now we're done with the reflection we're going to head over to the shade to the shading so we'll do the same thing select the low unclip move it out the way a bit and then we're going to select the necessary nodes duplicate them connect the execution pin take out the node that's necessary drag off from the get game user settings set shading quality and then connect the execution pin take out the disable and then when i drag in the disable shading or shade connect and then select low and then duplicate all the nodes okay, i'm done with the shading so much like all the other ones and this is what i meant when i said that this is pretty much just redundant because for every single one of them apart from the view mode and the vsync they pretty much all just gonna be they're all gonna look exactly the same apart from the uh, necessary node which is the set of its correspondent so now we're gonna move on to the shadows like the shadow low one click and then we're gonna paste the nodes connect the execution pin take out the shading drag off look for set shadow quality connect the execution pin and then take out the disable shading drag in disable shadow and then select the necessary one and then i'll come back when i'm done with everything so now i'm done with the shadow quality portion i want to move on to the textures so i'll take texture low and click paste the nodes connect the execution pin take out the set shadow quality drag off from the get game user settings set texture quality and then connect the execution pin take out the disable shadow function and then i drag in the disable texture and then i'm gonna set low and then i'll come back once i'm done here once again so now with all the quality buttons done please make sure that just double check actually that when you remove a node while you're doing the next one that the get game user settings are connected to the target for the set of the particular um, button you're working on and the apply settings uh, during this process i have missed a couple of them and i had to go back and um, connect the noodles so just double check and make sure that you don't miss any but if you compile it will let you know if there are any that you missed and then you just have to go back and correct that with all those done we didn't do the combo box for the resolution so we're going to do that now click on the combo box string and then on the unselection changed click that and then now we're going to set up the resolution so from the selected item drag off and then look for a split a split string and then by the in string look for the x and then by the search case you can say ignore case so that if you if there's a difference between a capital x and a small x then it will ignore that and regardless still take the x as the dividing factor and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click get game user settings from the return value drag off set screen resolution and then from the dark blue node where it says resolution we're gonna drag off from that and then we're gonna look for make end point and then we're gonna take from the set screen resolution drag off from that node then we're gonna apply settings deselect the check for command line override from the return value we get game user settings drag off and then connect that to target by the apply settings and then as for here between the split and the make end point we are simply just going to connect the left s to the x by the make in point and then the right s to the y by the make in point and then it will give us the conversion nodes and then that will pretty much be everything just make some space here so everything can look nice and then just make sure to connect the execution pin from the on selection changed to the get game user settings and then that will be it for the resolution so we're going to compile save and then just drag a comment over everything select resolution quality and then since this video is getting a little long we're going to finish off by doing the save and the optimize so for the save select the save unclick and then for the save 
which is gonna drag off get game user settings and then from the return value look for apply settings and then just deselect the check for command over it and then that will be it just save game settings and then for the optimize I'm gonna click the optimize on click and then from there we're gonna drag off get game user settings drag off from the return value and then look for run hardware benchmark and then just leave all the settings as they are and then again from the get game user settings return value we're gonna drag off and then look for apply hardware benchmark results connect the execution pin and then this is what we're gonna leave it for now the video is getting kind of long i was hoping to finish everything in this video but it took a little bit longer than expected so in the next video I'm going to be showing how to then load the settings that you save so that you don't have to constantly come back and then apply them whenever you load up the game once again. So with that, this is pretty much going to be it for this video and until the next one.